In this video, I'm going to look at Affinity Photo's Procedural Texture Tool. So, I'm going to start with a new document. And I'm just going to turn to a transparent background. Create a new uh, letter size um, in landscape mode. And I'm going to add a pixel layer. And I'm going to fill that with black. And the reason I'm doing that is it'll help to explain how this uh, procedural texture system works. Okay, I've got that selected. I'm going to Filters. And it's found under Filters Colors. And down here at the bottom is Procedural Texture. And when you open it up, um, it doesn't give you much to go off of. You, you can look at the presets. I'm going to ignore those for now. So I'm going to start with, an, this one says equations, and then this one is inputs. So I'm going to start with a new equation. And if I look at that, it's selected red as my channel and put a zero over here. So I'm going to, okay, so I'm wondering what that does. So if I type in, um, I'm going to change it to a one and see what that ha what happens then. Okay, so it made it red. So I think if um, it's taking whatever was here and it's making the red channel all set to the value one. All right, so I'm going to try that. I'm going to put in 0.5 and see what that does. So that's a dark red. Okay, so uh, that seems intuitive enough. So I'm going to add another equation. This time it selected uh, green over here. That's set to zero. I'm going to try setting this to zero. Um, or I'm going to set this one to one. And I'm going to set the green to one. Okay, so that worked exactly as I expected. It set them both. Uh, I know that when I have red all the way up and green all the way up, it makes yellow. All right, so I'm going to add uh, this channel. It automatically selected blue, and I'm going to set that to one as well. And now I've got white. So I can have three different uh, channels and control those values. Okay. Now, what it's actually doing is taking the pixels that are in the drawing and changing those. Um, so if I had a, other than a black picture, it would behave a little bit differently, but we'll ignore that for now. Let's look at input range. So I can add uh, three different, the, so I know that the red color goes from zero to one. These all, th each of the colors goes from zero to one. So if I add, um, inputs. Down here are the different types of inputs you can have. Um, this one, it goes from 0 to 1. This one goes from minus 1 to 1. This is a real number. This is an integer. This one is for an angle. And this one is called elevation rotation. Alright, so these give you sliders. And so right now, uh, they don't do anything. But if I change this, instead of a number, I could put in the letter A, a variable, and then this one I could make the letter B, another variable, and this one I could make the letter C. Okay, so now I can go with the sliders and control those um, directly. If I get a color I like, I can hit Apply, and it saves that. Okay, let me know if you have any comments or questions.